though. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Word. <laughs> Shit. What's what's good, dude? What's happening, man? No, nah, man. Long, you know, trying to support you, dude. I see you out here. Yeah, salute to but, you, man. Uh, I appreciate you coming through. Nah, everything. man. Like, 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 real talk, man. So, so my fucking experience with all this shit is way radically different than maybe what you would say most quote unquote mm-hmm. gliders or whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, being a glider myself, I guess. I grew up in Houston, Texas, man. Right. It's probably one of the most ethnically diverse places in the United States of America. Right. So I didn't grow up with, uh, you know, people chatting in my ear and telling me I was white or some shit. But I went to prison when I was 16 years old. At, I went you in for what? robbery, aggravated oh. robbery. I shot a guy. And, oh, uh, wow. So, so what was what was the thing? What were, we, what were you trying to rob him of? Oh man, money, man. What you talking about? <laughs> no, it was somebody, it was it was a rando. No, I'm what I'm saying was it like a rando or was it somebody you I hooked up I hooked up with some guys uh because my cousin sold dope and shit. And I mm-hmm. used to jack cars, you talk about the nineties. So uh mm-hmm. back in the game, GMC, Pontiac, Chevrolet, anything like that underneath the GMC head, I could I could crank a car. And uh so I was I was decent at it. I grew up where I grew up at is kind of ethnically mixed neighborhood and shit like that but uh i just grew up knowing shit like that all my people did dirt and i just grew up dirty like that bro and uh so i i went to prison i went to prison for 15 years in the state of texas at 16. yes sir yes sir so you went in at 16 and were you charged as an adult or were you a yes i was i was I, well i was given what they called a determinate sentence which means mm-hmm. I had like three years in baby prison, mm-hmm. which which ain't that fucking far off from prison. <laughs> right. But uh, no, so they worse. were. I mean, it's the shit, bro. It was off the chain. Uh, yeah. But with all that being said, probably the first six months of my existence in the big boy side, or however you want to look at it, I had them brothers beat my ass just because I was white, and I didn't really come from that background you know what i'm saying like a, i was like damn fool like you're out here it's like white boy what size is your tennis shoes <laughs> i was oh, like yeah. shit they're your size bro <laughs> yeah that's what you gotta say man. And, uh, was... so i had a little flavor i'm trying to figure yeah. out this camera i look weird on tv nah, you cool man you cool man you look... <laughs> do, do y'all have a b y'all had a, y'all had a brand down there in texas you want real real talk i was brand i was brand and uh not not because of some type of fucking hatred for anybody but like to be honest with you when i was young when i was young like that when i was young like that bro like when i walked in you know i had one white guy just one he said hey man when the doors roll the bells ring and i was like what the fuck does that shit mean it's like when the doors roll the bells ring so what that means is when them doors roll they're coming to check you dude that's all there is to that shit so i didn't really get it at first I came in there, I had my mattress over my arm and shit, man. I'm rolling up in this motherfucker and this little bitty white dude we used to call Mad TV because he kind of had that like the big ears and the gap tooth and shit. He looked like the motherfucker uh, from Mad TV, you know, the Mad Magazine right. or whatever. I know, I know so, yeah. The cat ran up there to me and told me, he said, man, the brothers in the mess says don't like how you walked up in this motherfucker. I was like, well, you know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I have no words. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it is what it is. He's like, I got you. I'll be back. I'm in here. They gave me these pigskin boots and shit, and I lace them motherfuckers up. I'm like, God damn. I'm supposed to get my ass thong. This big ass white dude come over. His name is JD. I'll never forget this motherfucker. He said, Man, I like the way you rolled in this motherfucker. I said, What does that mean? He said, You came in here with some confidence. I said, All right, cool. He said, Look, man, they're coming up here. They're coming three deep. Here's what's going to happen. They're not just going to all come in at you at the same time. I'm going to hold this door. They're not going to stomp you out. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to just do what they want to do. I ain't going to allow that just because the way you came in here and let you let your little BBs hang and shit. I said, all right. And, uh, you know, I made it halfway through. <laughs> right. That last motherfucker pounded my ass, but. But besides that, that's not really the point. The point is, is like my my experience down there really informed me that the the, the politicking comes down to this is like when you take away the nice things in life, when you take the things that make us civil, 
you see the tribalism of mm -hmm. uh, like up fucking close. But over the years that I spent down there, because I spent such a long fucking time down there, I spent 15 fucking years day for day. Shit. You got my name. You can... How many facilities? No, 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 no. Probably about four. Four, okay. Probably about four. Right. I was a bad actor. I didn't I didn't adjust very well. So, you know, and I didn't really give a fuck to you, to be honest with you. Did you but that's ever what... go to did you ever go to a place where the um where the where the white boys had the yard? Bro, we we always had we always had pool. What you talked about? So this is the way it goes. When you come in there, there's such a small group of white guys that it's almost it's what you would call elite. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I came in there, it's you could say it's predominantly black, but it's it's Texas, man. It's predominantly Mexican. It's prom it's it's really essay, bro. Like to be honest with you, right? The essays and the whites have a thing. Right, Bomb, so like, yeah. like they, they they fucking talk to each other. They have like treaties and fucking paperwork, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, man. They have table talks. That's what we used to call them. So civil. they already understand. It's, 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 it's civil, yeah, civil. civil. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It, it's civil to to a degree. It's civil. The newer the newer essays are more fly, so they don't really embrace like a. Uh, I don't think I'll go too far. I'll say some shit. I don't think I'm at a. Yeah, at a go ahead. Say, like go Texas ahead. Syndicate. Uh, Raza Unida, you know, Azteca, there's certain gangs. They're old school, man. They've been there a long fucking time, so they have established kind of mm -hmm. networks in the way they do things. The newer guys do this thing called Tongo Blast, which means they, they're they town reps. This is Texas. I can't speak for any other state, but in Texas, the newer guys, they say they're not gangs, but they operate like a gang. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In Texas, you do not go to what we call administration segregation which is a special Ed's housing good. unit yeah. yeah 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 that's all gang that's gangland you know what i'm saying so they don't lock up blacks bro straight up very few i'll say that i'm not gonna say there's zero so, so the, but the criminal it's, it's justice system is favors the blacks even inside the penitentiary yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah even in a redneck fucking place listen bro the first time i, I listen i picked cotton <laughs> mm. I picked fucking cotton in the state salute of Texas. Babes, salute the babes, babes coming through. Man, Shout get out it. Babes. Fucking get you it. Go, you go always ahead, need new members, man. Yo, yeah, what what up? Up? can you hear me? When I, when I, yeah. yeah, I can, yeah. When yeah, I, well, when I, when I got down in there, mm -hmm. what they do is that, I mean, basically what they do is they shave you, they spray you, they do all this shit and they give you a fucking number. They only refer to you as that number. It used to be inmate. They change it to offender, which I obviously had, a lot of us had problems with because sex offender. Right. So the nomenclature change, you could you could see you could see by bits and pieces how they they wanted to associate all inmates. I ain't just talking about white. I'm just saying all inmates with like this fucked up shit, man. You know what I mean? But they used to call you inmate. The older guys were called convict. You know what I'm saying? And they start calling these cats offenders. But when I was out there, we're picking cotton. Now, granted. These motherfuckers in uniform, these COs, these correctional officers, they all wear gray and blue. And I'm thinking to myself, that shit look like Confederate uniforms, bro. <laughs> yeah. And the biggest, darkest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. We're out there. It's hot, midday, noon sun. We're picking cotton. He took a knee. Took the white hat off his head because we only wore white uniforms. He put his hands behind his back and he said, boss, can I get some water? And I about shit myself. I was like, what in the fuck is this shit? I swear to God, man, all the nomenclature that is in the Texas penitentiary is slave mm. talk. bro. Mm. They call these motherfuckers boss. And mm. uh, I resisted that a great deal. It's it, it, obviously it's easy to slip into when everybody's using that kind of fucking you know that's, that's the phraseology george floyd, man. george floyd always called people boss man boss man boss man boss man that's prison that's prison shit man yeah. straight up and it and, and, and it and it in it the, the first the first uh prison in texas was a former slave plantation so you know and and the primor uh is that where that the, hotel is that where that hotep thing comes from where they say police no I, I, don't, I don't i don't i don't i don't i don't think i don't think it necessarily originates in texas at all i think it was already there before i was there because i i, I knew dudes of all all fucking walks of life that i fucked with man and uh 
yeah, there's a lot of hoteps, but there's there's also like I knew um, a, a guy I'll just call Terry. He was a, a guy that was a turnkey. So they used to have a turnkey system in Texas. So back in the game, before I ever came down there, back when like my granddad was down there in the 80s and the 70s, they used to have inmates be the enforcers instead of the lawmen. You dig what I'm saying? Right, them, right. Them, them pigs weren't fucking getting involved with you like that. So right. they would use the biggest, baddest motherfuckers they could, primarily black guys. You know, like you're six, seven, eight fucking feet, whatever the fuck, you know, you're a giant. You know what I'm saying? Right. When the justice system turned it over with William Wayne Justice, and uh, they had this whole liberal fucking wave that happened in like mid 80s, they desegregated prisons and they got rid of the turnkey system, and it was horrible for blacks because that's when you had AB, Aryan Nations, you had uh, TM, Texas Mafia, Texas Syndicate, and shit like that. And they went to killing them, guys, cutting their fucking heads off, using them as bowling balls and shit like that, man. It was brutal. Where would and, you uh, say? Now, where would you that say that shit the happened place? before me? Where would you say is the best place to be in prison as a white guy? Or what <laughs> what <laughs> no prison. I can't speak for all states, man. I only was yeah. locked up in, in in Texas, and we're probably about fifty years behind most states. Like when I was leaving prison in Damn. 2012, 2013, um, they just started getting pay phones, man. So it's pretty wild shit. Damn. Wow. But with that being said, act the whole reason I wanted to jump on here and tell you something is this. I knew some stand-up sonnies. I knew some stand-up dude, I knew some dudes I will love for the rest of my life. Guys that uh after you get past that point of respecting each other, man, that uh I knew some I knew some I knew some rare gems, man. I knew mm -hmm. some rare gems who were gangster, you know what I'm saying? Like didn't tolerate the sag in the pants, none of that shit. Mm -hmm. And what you see over time is a culture change. And when I got out of prison, I thought, oh, man, I'm going back to like some normal shit, man. And all I see is prison shit out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I said something in the, in the comments in the chat is that uh, I read a book and, I, you know, for what it's worth, Thomas Sowell. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wrote a book called Black Redneck, White Liberal. That's well, propaganda. Yeah. You, you think that's probably white propaganda? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't. So. It didn't seem anti-white. Bro, so. he's saying like he's saying that Southern rednecks taught black people how to be savages and speak terribly. He didn't say. Uh, he didn't say all. He didn't say all. If you grew I, up in the South, bro, South rednecks are Christian. Texas. They're not. Ah, I know. I'm from Florida. He's talking. He's talking. He's talking about pre. But here's the thing. But here's the pre, thing. Freeing the slaves, bro. Bullshit. But here's the thing. Bullshit. It's still bullshit. But here's the thing. He ain't even mm. from the South. He grew up in New York. He went to Harvard yeah, or Columbia okay. or some shit. Worked well, yeah, in Illinois. Worked in New though. York. He, he just still researched that though. That's not that. That doesn't discount him. Okay. okay. No, it is because look, because look, but that's like saying people every from fucking black person I ever fucking people from the north look down. Shit. That's 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 a fucking lie. People from the north look down on people from bro, the south. Bro, I was brother. Listen to me. Listen to me. I was part of a supposed white supremacist gang, bro. For fucking 12 years of my fucking stay in a penitentiary. Gives and a I'm fuck. telling you, bro. Touche. Who gives a fuck? My point is, ain't every fucking glider some fucking hoe. And every black guy ain't a fucking piece of shit. That's what I'm fucking saying. Okay. Challenge me. Well, no, no, I, it's I, not I a challenge. That. It's a blanket statement. It doesn't mean anything. It's I mean, like... I, I, I well, it's a blanket that. statement. You could just... I mean, I can see... I can sit here and watch the news. I watch it with you. Dude, I'm bust yeah, my ass. Work. When's the last time? When's the last time any politician in the past I get damn it, near hundred years listen, or anybody on the news has said, you know what? White working class men need someone to fight for them. Anybody? No shit. No shit. No one. No shit. So I don't I'm give not a shit about. That. Oh, all black people aren't pieces I'm, of shit. I really I'm don't not care. arguing that. I'm not arguing that. But what we need to do is support those who fucking want to be like the rest of us, normal fucking oh, people. we need to support our own. That's at this point, because oh, all that, man, I, I don't, all that I don't, kumbaya I don't, shit my, my own, it goes out the own, window, like you my said. Own, my own, let me tell you about my own. They're pieces of shit. They're cowards. They're pussies. I'm just going to say it. You want real fucking talk? You ain't ever, you ain't ever, you ain't ever seen the shit I've seen, son. You ain't ever been in the fucking mix like I've been in the mix. I'm not no tough guy, but I know some. What do you shit. mean? What do you mean by cowards, though? What do you mean? You, are, like you the ever fucking black? Let dude, me tell you. Okay, uh, fucking let me six tell foot you five so, black so, dude against a five foot ten white guy. Is that what you mean? In a physical fight. Let, let me ask you something, man. When I was getting my ass kicked down there for six months by nothing but black guys, were you there? 
No, because I'm not a fucking idiot who robs someone at gunpoint. But you also ain't never been around other fucking people, apparently. No, I'm from Florida. I mean, I'm 24, but I'm from Florida. I'm from you're fucking 24. Tampa, you're Miami. from fucking Florida, and, and what and what is what is your fucking knowledge about other races? Fucking shit, plenty. you read? I went to fucking the school. I was like 50 percent black. But the thing is, I was good oh. at football and athletics, so great. So I got was I. Respect. No one ever tried. So me. was I. I so you say? <laughs> so you say? No, I used to run with the black stuff. I used to run with the blacks. You know, I mean, just burning and all that, just loud, but. No, nah, I mean, what do you mean by the culture, the culture, the culture, the culture, the culture, but you're talking about the fucking culture. The culture has nothing to do with blacks. The culture has culture? zero to do with black people. Black people get used every fucking day by the so-called culture. Well, who runs the culture? Jewish people. You said it. I didn't. Jewish crew. Jewish crew. Jewish crew. Yeah, we all know. That. Yeah, my bad. Um, you got to watch that fucking word. And, and I agree with is, that. And I agree can, with that shit. Can I just can I before y'all get on the juice group, man? Because I hate when y'all gliders do that. No, but it ain't. But it ain't. Hey, hey. No, no, hold on, hold on. Because it ain't all juice crew. They no, have plenty no, of people to lick that boot. No, listen, listen what I'm saying. The reason I don't like y'all getting on the juice crew is because you gliders, it's like when we talk, it's like how we use y'all. We blame everything on y'all. I see the same tendency. Oh yeah, there's personal personal people. responsibility comes in. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I think I think I think Gladys, Gladys got, got got the ability. Like we can't help it, right? We 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 can't help it. Like if you look at this thing right here, look at this graphic on the screen. I get it. This, this Dude, debunks, I'm not denying. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. This debunks Thomas Sowell's thing. <laughs> Thomas Sowell blaming black culture on on, on red Scottish immigrants and shit or whatever the fuck. Listen, that's horse shit. Um, Do you know is, why? Oh, this sorry, is, this go ahead. DNA. This, this stuff is DNA. Man. Yeah, this let me speak uh, about DNA. DNA if, if you want to pull up a graphic, if you go to alternativehypothesis.org um, and you go to a, an article called The European Revolution, I think it's part five, it mm -hmm. speaks about how Europe over the past 700 years has um, gone through a phase called genetic pacification. Um, and so we've pacified ourselves through the death penalty. And so what we what what they studied was two Canadian professors. What they studied is that from the year it was like from the year um, 1000 to like 1750. So over 30 generations. Mm -hmm. And what they studied was that in Europe, the Catholic Church was running Europe. In Europe, they killed one percent of the male population every single year. And they killed them because they were criminals. So they killed their criminals and took them out of the gene pool. And at the same time, uh, as they were killing all the criminals, uh, the top like 20 percent of the society. So the top 20 percent IQs and wealth had double the children than the bottom 80 percent. So through, I guess you could say it's eugenics or whatever, killing off my bad, my bad, my bad. My wife was calling me. I apologize for that. Killing Jewish. off the criminals and the top, the cream of the crop out, out reproducing the bottom the bottom uh you know of the population that's it's, what it's, gave that's what gave europe you know it's catapult into man, leading the world it, it's and it's, then it's, if you look at let me finish my point if you look at america what are we doing the fucking most intelligent people in america don't have kids and they're not getting any money but the lowest denominator has what has welfare they got five fucking kids they're on the government's supporting them and that's why you're seeing you know the downfall of America's because it, we're doing deeper the than that shit. Of what Europe did. It's still deeper than that shit because Europe has its own handful of problems. It's way astronomically fucking worse than America. Ast by, yeah. by by fucking yeah. exponential fucking no, power. Yeah, besides yeah, that, yeah, and, yeah, and even yeah, in even in it. like look, man, it, it, and and this is my thing. It's not look, man. I get it. I can see. I listen. I listen to every fuck every chance I get. To fuck with y'all, I send in money when I can. I fuck with you. I support the fucking cause a thousand percent. I love the dialogue. I love getting different perspectives. But at the same time, here I am. I'm talking to Ak. Ak's a son, man. What the fuck? What? 
Okay, I don't hate he's, that not, dude. he's literally the exception. He's probably one in 500,000. Right. Exactly. Same thing I just fucking said when I was talking about some dudes I met in fucking prison that I had mad love for. Okay, so what, what's your point? What, what is your the point, whole man? point is, the whole point is, there's not a lot of stand up white motherfuckers I got respect for either, dude. What are you talking about? Huh? These motherfuckers what? out. <laughs> dude, no fucking white people are washed up, man. You're 24, so I'm 41. So I guess what I mean, maybe in your generation. I don't know where do you live now? Where I live now in a shithole called Cleveland, Ohio. Oh yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Brutal. And then and then these white no. motherfuckers have tattoos on their faces. They oh my sag god. Back. They're fucking all out on a finny and shit. And I'm like, I don't I don't even I don't really understand. So what you you have to understand this, regardless of what you think, yes, it's all personal decision. But our personal decisions are determined upon what is reflected back to us. What is socially acceptable? And you could say the same thing with the Sunny community. What is socially acceptable in those communities, in the communities that interact with each other and those you know, on the outliers? You know, let, me, let me stop you. Let me stop you, Charles. Let me stop you, man. Because here's the problem. Here's the problem with what, you, with what you're about to get into is that Sun people, we have our own societies that we've created on this planet you can go to any sun country and see it you can go to haiti you can go to liberia you can go to south africa you can go anywhere on the planet and see the type of societies that we um would create and um good or bad however you see that it is what it is i, I think get, trying to I like that Hold on, that. hold on, hold on. But 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 when it is what it is, that's one hard thing for people to um under, to hard to accept because you want to be like, well, it's this or it's that. I look at sun communities, sun neighborhoods in Washington D.C., the capital of the free world, where I grew up at, and I see the way the sun people act. Their parents, their parents got because this our industry in D.C. is government. So you have a lot of jobs right. surrounding government and a they lot just, of people, especially hold on, especially black women, have those jobs historically in DC. So you have a lot of people whose mother make a hundred thousand dollars a year, mother make eighty thousand dollars a year. I'm talking about in the eighties and the nineties. And their sons are what their sons are, and their neighborhoods are what their neighborhoods are. In there, and then when they moved to Prince George's County to get away from all the sun, the, the real right. wild suns, what did PG County turn into? It turned into the same thing. So you have to understand too that like we are fine in that shit. Like I'm sure you were in prison and you noticed that the brothers don't really have a lot of codes and ethics in yeah, the regression in, to the mean in, as you're talking about. Earlier. And leaders in prison, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah, no lowest common denominator shit, like but... that. No, what, what I'm saying is, there's no shot callers like that. The brother, anybody can do anything to anybody. We we have a different. We 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 do our thing differently, and that's okay. You have to learn to accept that that we're different. The only problem for y'all is it might not be good for us to be. It might not be good for you to be around us. I dig that. It's great for it's great for us to be that. around you. We I get dig a that. lot from being around that. you. I dig that. Listen, uh, I get I'm, a I'm, lot. I'm not in, I'm not in contention with you on that topic. I'm just saying, like, God damn, you you know, a motherfucker wants to hope. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're raised with a certain amount of like no, it, just, I'm just, I'm just, I, I can only go on my experience and I can't take away from that young man, uh, Sebastian. I'm just saying, like, look, man, I get it. He's 24. I'm not going, I'm not going to rob that man from it, from anything or your perspective or anybody else's perspective. But I'm saying to you, my experience is I grew up, I grew up gritty, dirty. Yeah, I'm soft. I'm fucking fat. All that shit. Listen, homie. I grew up with that shit. I grew up with dirty, but, gritty but white motherfuckers. Let me, let me, let me so, just say so this. Look, can the I just crime say this? element, can, can the I, crime I, element, is it like alien to where I'm? Oh from? my can god! I stop you this whole fucking can I stop you? Uh, can, okay, go ahead. I, I want to go can, into can, can I stop because because I want to let I want to let fisherman get in here too. I know. I he wants to. Right hey, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got Charles, Charles. 
Please take it easy, man. I, I, I'm <laughs> letting you, you. You've been talking. Man. Ain't nobody stopped you. You've been talking. Yes, sir. Let me let me just tell you. Let me tell you this. You as a as a glider, you're about to talk about crime, and you know goddamn well that we're not talking about crime. We talk about fucking murder. Yeah, sure. you gliders have all the fucking crime, but you know. God damn well, y'all ain't killing each other like that. Yeah, uh, can I? Can In I add civil to that? society. No, yeah, we're yeah. not. God damn. Uh, yeah. Can I add to that? Yeah, we shouldn't be, but this guy. Yeah, you you were saying how um my name isn't this I, guy, bro. My bad, dude. Thank you, sir. Um. Anyways, he was yeah he was bringing up you know whites do crime. It's, have you seen that meme where it's a graphic? It shows black people. It's like five hundred murders in a year, and then it shows the white graphic three murders. And it's for like, sure. what does for this sure graph either. mean? And the white guy goes, white people do crime too. You know, it's the same. And, yeah. and I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it like that, bro. I'm not saying it like that, bro. That's what you just said. Right, let him, let him talk. I was, white just, oh, Charles, Charles. Sebastian. Charles, we're going to bring some people in here. We're going to bring some people here to, 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 to no, say what you got to say. No, it's was saying let in say, a previous video speak, that he posted, white people are brainwashed. And it's For sure. And you're one of them. Brainwash. Go ahead, Fisherman. Fisherman. Let me let Fisherman get in here. Fisherman, do you have I don't, anything to I don't say? know what we're talking Go about hard at all. Go hard in the paint, man. But this this got our friend Jeff Charles, he he did he did 15 years in the joint and he was a member of the Aryan Nation and he still managed to Aaron come Brotherhood out of in Texas. Prison. But I'm, I'm yeah, he, yeah, he I've been out to managed years. to come out of prison. He still managed to come out of prison and have a um like what I would call not a woke take, but He's, no, I'm definitely not. He's, fucking you know, he's. But I'm also um, not like he's. Throw the baby out with the, the bathwater. <laughs> yeah, he's woke leaning. He still he's he has hope that. He, Why? He because I don't hate black people. That, <laughs> no, not hate. No, no one wants you to hate black people. I observe this shit. Yeah, I think there's a gigantic fucking problem no. in the community no, that are no, called no. black. Sure, no, no doubt. Hold on, listen. I think there's other factors that go above and beyond us. No, no. All of us. No, Charles. That no, Charles, us. it's not a problem. Charles, it's not a problem. It's a okay. difference. It's a right. difference. It's not so a problem. Everything. So it's you're a so you're a bell you're a bear, you're a bell curve believer, is what you're saying. Well, I mean, you say that? Thing, Charles. I don't want to put Charles. I don't want to put words when, in your mouth. You believe in the bell curve. You were in prison, right? Okay, I'm, sure. I'm gonna ask you. Can, can you just give me a yes or no answer on this? Because I don't want you to. I don't want to sure. belabor this. I just just give me a yes or no. When you were in prison, did you notice a difference between the way the white prisoners obviously conducted themselves and the Come black on, prisoners conducted themselves? You know that. You already know the answer. To that. Did you? Okay. Now, now, now. All right. Did you see a difference in the way that um, the um, the, the sanitation or the hygiene of the spaces that the black prisoners occupied in re difference to the hygiene. And I, the spaces I, I would say, that I, white... well, well, there, there's, well, there's, tell there's me, tell me, tell there's me. fucking nuance to that shit, dude. The old guys, clean yeah. as a whistle. Young guys, mm -hmm. savage. Okay. So All there's right, a fine. difference. Culture. Now, did you see? So I don't know. I mean, okay, you're, okay. you're talking about state did to you state. See? You're talking about prison to prison. You're talking about individuals. Okay, You're talking about we're just culture talking about you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're just talking about you. I just want to. I just want to. I want you to tell me what you saw. Old to young, older guys. Answer. They're clean. Okay. Okay. So, but but we need you to answer the questions so that you can tell us. Because remember, sure. we're, I'm asking you. Okay, so I'm asking you. Did you see any difference between? Um, the codes of ethic, like did did, of course. did did the black prisoners have strict codes to um regulate behavior amongst each other as as Fuck. white people did? Fucking no, obviously. So the, so the so the white prisoners had codes that they had to abide by in order to be part of the group, and yeah. you were shunned if you broke those codes. And the sure. white, the black guys, the black guys, it was more liberal. They could do more. They had more. They can do whatever the and... fuck they want to. They can do whatever the fuck they okay. want to, with exception. Okay, so I'm asking you. So, so since we're asking you, don't tell me I'm a bell curver. 
I'm just that that, 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 was, that, was, that was that was that was I mean look man look look look, look, look. Here, here here's 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 the thing act here's the thing act because I've met I've met some exceptions to the rule that impressed me as a human mm -hmm. being all right and I was right. friends with a couple of these guys like authentic mm -hmm. just you know men to men and uh you know it, it it's like this man the longer I stayed down there the more I realized that we're all human. All right. It's just how I feel, you know, doesn't mean oh, it no. doesn't mean I mean, anything mean outside nothing, of that, man. When you when, when I lived in that motherfucker, I saw what people would call communism because they they dictate when you eat, how you eat, the shit they give you, the amount of shit they give you. But here's a here's the thing. People will always struggle to make their life better. So you can throw out the Marxism, the, the, the communism, the high idea that we're collective because it doesn't even fucking make sense. Because all men will struggle ultimately to improve their lives, which they should. In my opinion, they should. Okay. And with okay, that now, being said, let, let, with that being said, yes, mm. do whites collectively endeavor to do that? Ultimately, you already know the answer is yes. Same way I would say, in my from my perspective, from my experience, Mexicans, they handle their fucking shit and we get along pretty well with the sunny population it really goes like this the people who are ran by older generations they got that shit in check and we get along the younger guys that come in they're fucking rogue all right so my point of bringing that up is it, it is a cultural thing because if you have a strong mm. man regardless of however the fuck you look whatever the fuck you want to say a strong man in a strong system can mitigate this fucking shit is it's really the point i'm getting at right so what you lack okay, okay. Let me in my stop opinion you. and what, Charles, what, what Charles, we lack me, Charles, go for it let me stop you let me let me stop you let me stop you um now all, all okay um i think we got what we needed from 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 that from that episode um i want to move on along, man appreciate yes, your, your testimony man but you just stay on the panel man and um this is in 2013, a guy named Philip Chisholm in 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 the UK in Britain. Okay, he was only 14 years old when he followed his algebra teacher Colleen Ritzer into the school bathroom. Okay. Once he was inside, he attacked her with a box cutter, raped, Got robbed, that. and killed her. Now, if this had happened reverse, right? If this had happened reverse, we already know how it's going to go if it's this, reverse, bro. Right, but he, he, here's the here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What, what we're getting at about originally before we got on on other things is that gliders are held to a higher standard of behavior. I not don't doubt only that. By them, hold on. By by the whole society, everyone looks at when the glider does something. Hey, wait a second, man. You know better than that. But you why? You punish severely because you but are. But why? When the so why, man does because let me tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because everybody knows that the differences in us determine um, require a different standard in Western society. The differences in uh, you even said in prison that they don't um punish the black For sure. prisoners as much as they punish the white prisoners. But that's an administration prison, issue, right? No, I mean, that's work with me. Work with me here. We, work with no, me here. Hold on, hold on. If, stop, if, stop, if stop, the stop, motherfuckers stop, stop, are no, no, running no, shit, let me let me let me pause you, man. I got right. I got mute you, man. Listen, 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 listen. The, the administration has determined that if they use the same standard for both groups, we're going to have this many sun men in there in 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 ad seg, administrators seg, or the whole or whatever. Punishment, and you're gonna have this many gliders. So they've already determined that, and they made that assessment. So they, so they changed the rules for both groups to make it so that they don't have to punish as many Sunday. Because if you did it the same way, you oh, they all be back Obama there. Did. Yeah, exactly. They all be. They'd all be in, back there. They'd all be in the hole. All of them would be in the fucking hole. It would be. It would be. Half the sun men in the prison would be in the hole. I, I, okay, I don't doubt so. that. I, I, again, I, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not necessarily in argument with any of that. I'm just saying, like, look, man. I'm not saying the statistics are lying. I'm not saying young Sebastian is wrong. I'm not saying any of that, dude. I'm just saying from my perspective, man, like I've lived a, long, I've lived a pretty wild life. And around that, I've met a lot of different people. And now, with that being said, I'm not talking about groups. I can't speak to groups. What I see with groups, even even, even when I was AV, bro, like uh, I didn't like groupthink. Groupthink leads to trouble it always leads to trouble and uh you know you're trying to talk people down off a ledge it's like well this motherfucker did this well we need to go over there and smash him why is that the fucking goddamn solution it's not the fucking solution that's not the fucking solution you dig what i'm saying like so it does and and, and i know in general in the general population what's reported how do you know they don't eight. report on white people being absolutely insane but they don't they have to mock up some white supremacist shit and i was with some so-called white supremacists and they weren't really that supreme or fucking racist it's just a a, a means to yeah. an end it's like we had to gather up so, uh, be strong yeah, together yeah yeah, yeah 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 you dig what i'm saying so with that Maybe. being said i just no, I, you, I just try to look I at know. i just try to look at it from a more yeah. anthropological kind of viewpoint i'm that's not cool. saying that's that cool. any of y'all are wrong stop you. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. let me stop let me stop you i gotta, I gotta stop you, man um Go ahead, just just let me stop you, man. Um, please, please, just just take a take a chill pill, yes, take sir. a breather, man, and let some other people. I got some other people in here, man. So this is 2013. Philip Chisholm was only 14 years old when he followed his algebra teacher, Colleen Ritz, into the class, into the bathroom. This, think about this type of behavior. In a school, look at this shit. The 24 year old is seen in released surveillance videos. It's chilling footage of her walking out of the frame and Chisholm seemingly second guessing himself in the proceeding to follow her into the bathroom. These are the last moments of her life. Prosecutors say the gloves he brings into the bathroom are evidence of him taking her body and wheeling it to the woods just a few yards away from the school she so loved. It's anticipated that on Wednesday, the jury will be taken to view the crime. That white woman teacher, his algebra teacher is inside of there. She went to the bathroom, to the ladies room during class and he followed her out, killed her, raped her with a box cutter and then put her inside a trash can and wheeled her into the woods outside of the school and went back to class like nothing had happened. You have to, that type of behavior in public spaces, it, 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 um, you guys can't compete with that. Okay. You guys, <laughs> because we're not that. No, you can't. Well, yeah, because not because you're not that, but because if you, in order to be able to compete with that, you have to at least understand it first. I don't think gliders understand that. Hey, uh, he wanted it and he did it. I know gliders would kill a woman like that and rape her, but who, what glider would do that in this manner? The teacher goes to the potty and you follow her out the classroom, kill her and rape her in the bathroom and wheel her body to the woods and come back to class. Touche. Hey, hey, Ark. Touche. Hey, Ark. Hey, hey, just um, yeah. like just real quick. Uh, <laughs> if if this was fifteen years ago, and you said somebody did this, or whatever, and you close your eyes, I, I guarantee you, most people would think that it was a white person. It, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, uh, there's me. there's a point to that, by the way. There's a point. To hey, Ark. I think I think mm -hmm. gliders of the past because that's weird. I shit. think gliders of the past understand. I think gliders of the past understood this stuff very well. At some at some point in time, they, they lesson get the lesson was lost, and people started to think that, oh, we can you know the whole idea of multiculturalism got you know crept in. People thought we we, we all can some, you know at some point we, time, all get, we, we all get along together. But yeah, but the pro yeah so so the, the lessons were lost in time, and the, and basically the stuff that naturally would just happen has come back. I think gliders can get things back into control. But the problem is they're going to have to face the fact that their ancestors were right to a, to a, to a point.
Yeah. And they're afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid. And I think they're. I think a lot of them are afraid of, of facing that reality that that a lot of this, me, a lot of the treatment me, that was done in the past point, was, was for good reason. Yeah. No, great point, Marcy. Let, let me um, read some of these super chats. Please, I got a lot of super chats to read. Why do you on the moon says? I've been waiting for months for someone to speak about speak to alt hypes European revolution. Watch the vid on your own time. Okay, salute to you, Whitey on the Moon. Um, uh, we got um, John Griggs says I worked in L E in St. Louis for years and worked as an investigator at a prison. First, he was the guy they made hold stuff for OGs, not fooling me. He talking about you, Charles. He said you got it. Appreciate you. For OGs. That that's what it was. All right. uh, <laughs> wow. Los Los Twenty One X it says people acted different from the forties to the nineties. Ideologies and politics really inflamed the mindsets. Although they will always be different methods of operation with different cultures. Um, yeah, I mean, I do, I do think the woke stuff has infected the country as it's an infection. Um, Why do you on the moon comes back? He says, Aryan, the, the Aryan Brotherhood isn't a white supremacist group. It's, it's not a criminal gang that, it that is. buys into the narrative and I uses agree. Swazis not as a symbol of revolution and spirit. There you go. A warning sign to other groups. <laughs> um, Somebody has it figured yes. out. <laughs> yeah. So, Somebody has um, it figured out. Yes. Yeah, but but he, he, here's my thing. So so I was also want to um I'm, I got to get into these these stories that I was gonna do, but um I get it. I, I, I do want to I do want to show y'all this man. I appreciate um, you though. This. Yeah, man, salute, man. This this is this is um, Joy Reid, a major, a major news uh, anchor in America. You got to mute yourself too, Charles. 